Warika. That's hello in Thai. I've been saying it to everybody. So I had a little bit of sleep last night, so I'm going to show you around. Um, let's go outside first. This is kind of the door they got. There's no really locks, just this thing. Pretty nice. Remember to take your shoes off. You know, if you walk kind of right down that way, you'll see the beach is right down there. I get to walk to the beach anytime I want. Uh, yeah, it's a little shindig right here. Not bad, huh? Some hammocks up here. They're fake, obviously, I think. No, that's no, that's a real hammock. Never mind. That's real, so I'll probably be hanging out in that. So this is where you come in. Make sure you take your shoes off. And then the screen door. Make sure you shut that. There's mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are everywhere. About, I don't know, maybe 5 o'clock. When the sun starts going down, they're everywhere. Shut the door. I got AC. I don't think I could live here without AC. Man, it, I was just dripping sweat. I registered for the school today. And uh, just walked the whole way on the beach. And it was just sweating and sweating and sweating. But it's a good sweat. So I'm going to show you the room a little bit. Got the refrigerator right here. Little corner. Hanging some of my scuba dive stuff up or my snorkeling so far. Some clothes, whatnot. I have one, two, three. I got four pairs of shorts and three t shirts for a whole year. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go get some more. Let's see here. I went to 7 Eleven today. I walked in and I was hungry. I walked in and I got nothing but some snacks. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know what they're, how you pronounce it. Nika. Nui. This is good stuff. All this chocolate. It's got noodles. Let's see. Some more chocolate stuff. Chocolate colon, I guess. Good stuff. Went straight for the chocolate. And here's some, here's some noodles. I didn't have a, I didn't have a fork or anything in the room. So I went in 7-Eleven and I was like, well, I know what noodles are. I don't think they had any sandwiches, so I, I picked up noodles and I asked for chopsticks. And I didn't know how to say it, but if you, if you look right here, there's these chopsticks picking up the noodles. And I pointed and I said, chopstick, chopstick. And they said, yeah, yeah, chopstick. And I said, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, I need one. So the guy goes and grabs it and goes, chopsticks, and puts it back down. And then I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm not getting chopsticks today, apparently. But. I went to this nice little restaurant called San, or San, San Sunset, little beach, or little bar, eating, you know, and I just got something, so I asked for chopsticks to eat my meal with, so I kept them. So I'm looking at some real Asian chopsticks here, not the ones from America. Okay, yeah, I got this little fridge. There's the AC. Pretty nice, I'm telling you, this, this is a lifesaver. Beach here, pretty nice. Let's see here. Mm. One thing I thought I would miss is Mountain Dew. I thought, and my sister said, I'll, I'll ship you some Mountain Dew if they don't have any. I said, okay. I said, well, maybe I'll just quit drinking Mountain Dew. Look what I found. Mountain Dew. You see they have the English right there, Mountain Dew, but then if you turn it, they have it in, I don't know what the, Thai, and that doesn't look like Thai, but this is their bottle. I, I just walked in, I saw, okay, they had all the soda pop, and I looked, and I said, Mountain Dew, and that this bottle is really cool. It's green, and it actually tastes better than the American Mountain Dew. I don't know why, um, it's all in Thai writing back here, so I have no idea what's actually in this. But it tastes better. I would prefer this over the American. Delicious. Uh, everything else, you just get bottled water, bottled water. Um, you have to get that. Oh, let me show you something else. Let me show you what the money looks like. This is a thousand. Thousand baht. If you can see that, hopefully, thousand baht. 
it's kind of hard for me to count it when I have when I'm pulling them out because American money, everything is a dollar sitting up here. No, I don't. But on the dollar, everything's in the corner. You know, everything's in the corner. So you instantly pick it up and you look look for your corner. Okay, it's not there. Well, all the what it's worth is up here in that corner. So every time I'm looking at it, there's, this looks like nine nine thousand right here. So I kind of get confused. So even you know trying to read cash here is, will take some time. But yeah, a thousand baht. That is about let's see, thirty five baht is one dollar. So thirty five hundred baht would be um, ten bucks. So. I got to do some more adding in my head, but uh, seven thousand baht is two hundred dollars. Seven thousand baht is two hundred dollars. Um, you guys do the math. I'm not going to do the math. Six, seven hundred is twenty dollars. Seven hundred baht is twenty. So anyway, so it's about thirty dollars, I guess. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Uh, the coins, they're about the same. You know, the same kind of color. One of them looks like a like a peso. It has like a silver. Let's see if you can see it. And the silver edge with the gold in the middle. I think that's the old ones. I have some new ones here. So I think they dis they discontinued that because I think this is the right one. Coins just have so this one right here. It says five on the back, so that's a nickel. But they do. I, I have a five. A five cent, a two cent, and a one cent. So I don't know if they, I don't know what this one is. Let's see here. This is a ten cent. So this is a ten cent bar. Yeah, I guess, or ten bar. So maybe it's the same as a dollar. I think this is the same as ten bar. Okay. I'm still trying to get used to this in my head. Oh, I gotta do all this math. So, I got my little corner here kind of doing stuff, you know. I'm still trying to rearrange it. So let's go to the bathroom. This is sweet. Look at this. Do your business right there, then you're done. Everything is it's just nice. Here's the uh, my sink. I picked all this stuff up at 7-Eleven today. There's some toothpaste. This is a deodorant. They don't have at least I couldn't find the deodorant that I guess I'm there. Whoever uses just the uh, you know kind of powder stick. This is like a roll-on gel. So you need this out here because man, you sweat and you sweat. These are the razors. This is a, a three-blade. I'm used to the five-blade uh, Gillette Fusion. Da -da -da. So that's probably gonna hurt my face until I get used to it. Got soap, Lux, Lux soap. Smells good, so I bought it. This is head and shoulder. I guess that's head and shoulders. It looks like it, so I imagine it's head and shoulders. And just some shaving cream. It says Gillette, so I'm not too special. All right. So let me show you how the toilet works. This is a, a Western. This is everybody knows a Western style toilet. Okay. Uh, some just are just kind of like. A hole in the ground and you know so there is toilet paper here but you don't really use toilet paper if you have this right here that cleans you off um, it's a weird sensation at first but it's quite handy out and what's cool I'm um, going to the beach and I come in here spray my feet right off I don't have to track it inside so that's kind of nice I like that um, Oh yeah, the shower. So they got hot water. You turn this, and uh, turn it on. I guess that's like a heater of some sort. Um, this is the you can see it, the lever which turns it on. Nice setup. And then the water goes right here in the drain. And that's that. This will kind of if you got water everywhere, push it in there. Easy. No doors. No bat. No doors to open up. Nothing to step into. Just go right here, boom, boom. Okay, you take a shower, do your business in the bathroom, wash your hands, and you're out. I like that. So, I'll be going swimming in the ocean here soon. 
I just wanted to show my shindig, kind of let you know what's going on, and I'll be back. Love you guys.